Hello everyone, this is going to be a short demo of some of the things I'm working on for the next version of CoffeeSCAD. Uh, basically, these will be covering uh, the basics of uh, one of my holy grails, uh, holy grail, sorry, uh, which is to say the uh, well, the dual bidirectional editing of uh, code and visuals. So for now I'm not there yet, uh, but I've started to work on code analysis uh, features, which you will see in action right away. So as you can see, I pasted a bit of uh, JavaScript code here, and uh, well, some of you might wonder why it's not CoffeeScript or CoffeeSCAD, uh, and I'll get to that point in a bit. So first things first, uh, for example, if I click here, on an instance of a class, of course, I know uh, JavaScript doesn't have classes per se, but it's as close as it gets. And as you can see, if you select uh, something in the codes, it gets highlighted in the 3D view. And this goes for all instances. For example, you could also add, I don't know, for example, another sphere. And you'll see it does that rather fast. So in the background, it's analyzing the codes and doing some nice things, which I'll go to in a second. So what I'll do here is modify the position of the second sphere. And as you can see, there's now two spheres and the highlighting works for that as well. So this works from code to visual, but it also works the other way around. So if you select an instance here of an object in the 3D view, it's showing in the code editor the point in the code where the instance, the given instance was defined and the class of that object. It also extracts the uh, positions in the codes to display a short snippet here. Well, this is just really early prototype, so it's not perfect yet. But as you can see, it works for every instance and uh, different classes as well. Uh, the other way around, it also works. So for example, if you select, uh, sorry, for example, a uh, sphere here, the sphere class, in the editor, it highlights all the instances of that class. So I'm gonna just stop highlighting that. Sorry. And uh, for example, uh, sorry, there's a small bug here. Of course, it's an early prototype, so it should highlight all of those as well. I'll just regenerate that. Here you go. And then, as you can see, the cube is being highlighted. So this works. Uh, uh, for all the subclasses as well, uh, so uh, for example, if we had the subclass of sphere or cube, it would highlight all the instances too. So this is all using Esprima, so this is uh, an abstract syntax uh, tree, well JavaScript abstract syntax tree uh, analysis tool, basically. Uh, which allows, with uh, in conjunction with other tools, to well extract syntax tree information, and with the additional tools also to modify the syntax tree. So basically, what it's doing here in the background is whenever uh, you change the code, it's gonna parse it, and uh, I have uh, snippets of code that are gonna extract the positions of instances and classes and basically it's injecting metadata into the instances when they are regenerated live. And well, of course, for now, there's no way just yet to, for example, edit code here and uh, have it impact the instances or the main piece of code, but it's slowly and surely getting there. Uh, so now about why I'm not doing this for CoffeeScript, as you can see there's already some things in there to handle that. So while uh, generating the, um, the various metadata for the transpiled code, so basically the JavaScript code that gets generated from the CoffeeScript source is generated correctly, it is completely impossible at this point using source maps to remap you know coordinates in the code editor 
to precise coordinates in CoffeeScript from JavaScript or vice versa. So unfortunately that means uh, you can't really do the selection part so this for example will not work at all with CoffeeScript. I have a few well ideas on how to work around this but it's really not there yet and it's gonna involve a bit of a workaround. So thanks for watching and uh, just to let you know I'll also post a blog post about this to explain a bit more about the algorithms which are really not that complex and which might be of interest to, to some people. So see you soon, bye bye!